Hello everyone, I am going to solve a doubt which is asked by Rest of Mumbai, India. Doubt is explain the mechanism of haloform reaction. So let us see haloform reaction. Haloform reaction is RCOCH3 will react with NaOH X2 or NaOX give salt of sodium that is RCOO minus plus CHX3 that is the haloform. This is haloform. Let us see the which substrate will give haloform reaction. So this reaction is shown by methyl ketone. So this is the important this reaction is shown by a compound having methyl ketone or that compound which can be easily converted in methyl ketone like primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, alkyl halide. Let us see. So my dear student, these are the examples which will show haloform reaction. This alcohol will firstly oxidize in presence of NaOH and X2 in form of methyl ketone. So this group is easily convertible in methyl ketone. Therefore, it will show haloform reaction. Now, this is the halide in presence of alcohol this will be converted in alcohol and alcohol further oxidize and give methyl ketone at the place of X if there are any living group that will further convert it in alcohol and then will go oxidize and give the haloform reaction so the haloform reaction is given by either methyl ketone or the compound which can be easily convertible in methyl ketone. So this compound, you have to remember this. These are easily convertible in methyl ketone. Here, R should not be halogen. OH OCH3 NH2 NHR NR2 SH So we are going to discuss the mechanism of haloform reaction Let us see We have R C double bond O CH two H here OH minus is nucleophile as well as base. So if you treat it as a nucleophile, then it will attack at carbon atom, and this bond will be open towards upward. And since there is no any good living group. So reaction will stop at that point. So to move the reaction forward, you have to treat OH as a basic. So first of all, acid base reaction will occur. So first step is acid base reaction. This OH will trap the hydrogen and this electron will move towards this carbon atom and there is a loss of one water molecule and it will form R C double bond O CH2 minus so electron movements are it has this electron will be shifted toward this 
and these electrons are shifted on carbon atom. Now, this is the enolate ion. Here, resonance occurs between this pi bond and this negative charge. This is also an ambidentate nucleophile. But the nucle better nucleophilic site is carbon atom. Therefore, further reaction occurs with halogen it will donate the electron this carbon will donate the electron toward the halogen and this bond will be shift for the halogen so according to BVT this electron are donated in back end the orbital but according to MOT these electrons are donated in anti-bonding orbital of XX sigma bond. So now product will form RCO CH2 X. So if you show the electron movement, you can feel like that. This electron is movement for this. So this is the first step reaction. It has two hydrogen. So we have to repeat the same step two times. So R C double bond O C H H X it will react with OH minus and it will give so this OH minus take the H plus this electron will move towards carbon atom and it will give R C double bond O C H minus charge X. We have another halogen. So now here we will show the movement of electron. This electron make a bond with hydrogen and the carbon hydrogen electrons are shifted on this carbon. So here is a negative charge. Now this donate the electron. to halogen either anti-bonding orbital of this bond or conductivity back end d orbital this will shift toward this and it will give R C double bond O C H X X. So we have to repeat this step again. R C double bond O C H X X. It will react with O H minus. And it will form so this electron take H plus and these electrons move on carbon atom it will give R C double bond O carbon 
x x and minus charge we have another halogen so this donate the electron of anti bonding of this bond and this electron will shift on this and product form will be r c double bond o c x x and x so you can show the electron movement the electron of oxygen form bond with hydrogen and these electrons are shifted on carbon atom here also you can say these electrons make a bond with x and these electrons are shifted on halogen so we have r c double bond o c x x x and now oh minus we have as a nucleophile because there is no hydrogen therefore oh minus will attack on this and this will open towards oxygen by this way r c o minus o h c now you can show the electronic movements these electrons are shifted to this and these electrons are moved towards oxygen so you can also show here earlier it has two lone pair but now it has three lone pair one electrons one lone pair is moved from pi bond and in next this will donate the electron and this bond will move towards halogen and it will form r c double bond o and o h plus c x 3 minus it will react with halogen it will form r c double bond o O minus N A plus plus C H X three. So if you will solve the electronic movement, so electron are moving from. these electrons form pi bond so these are pi bonds are formed and these electrons are moving on these and there are pi bond so our product is the last product is halo form thank you for watching my video and all the best for your examination